thing I realized is that everybody you talk to uh, in the Portland area always talks about how much they love Kohl's, uh, including me. I actually won't shut up about it. Uh, but then I also realized that nobody ever really comes here and films. I mean, a lot of restaurants get a lot of coverage, uh, and this one doesn't for some reason. I have no idea why. So I thought it'd be fun to come here today. Just gives me an excuse to eat here. Every time I take that first bite, I'm always like reminded, oh, that's why I fucking love this place, because it's kind of unbelievably delicious. <laughs> How are you doing? Are you ready to order? I am ready to order in my little, in my little, in my little tower at the end here, my little <laughs> perch isolated from everybody else. So I'm gonna do a be cool, but then also I'm gonna try the burger because I feel like I've talked about the burger a bunch and been part of, I feel like I'm part of the process of what it became. <laughs> and then we'll do an order of the Mott Steaks. Kohl's is known for really, really, really paper thin crust pizza. Uh, they put on the grill, so it has this really nice crispy, kind of smoky characteristic. It is absolutely delicious. You, as you're gonna see, you can kind of like, you can fold the pieces up like four times if you wanted. There's so many new places in Portland and I insist on coming here almost 50% of the time that I come to come to town. So that's how much I like it. And I, my favorite thing is bringing people here for the first time. It's a great litmus test. Uh, if you don't like Kohl's, then I don't like you. Three times the size of a normal mozzarella stick. Trying to stick to like cudgels. Mm -hmm. Phallic mozzarella cudgels. But. Hot. The fried cheese is hot. I'm gonna say if you have these are fucking delicious. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. Absolutely. What I like about this pizza is it looks like a fucking gravestone, <laughs> which is amazing. Uh, I like the, the shape of it. Um, I always get this exact same thing. I have trouble not getting this. It's called the Be Cool. It's got uh, Grana Padano, pepperoni, and hot honey. Uh, usually, it's a rule that I wear a black t-shirt when I come here because I end up covered in this. Like, but what I'm gonna do for the camera is I'm not gonna dunk it in blue cheese and ranch because nobody needs to watch you eat like that. That's something you do for you. But what I wanted to show is, look at how thin this pizza is. And it's super crunchy, and it's got this nice smoke from being on the grill, as you probably saw. Um, it's gonna be... Mm. Mm. Every time. So good. Mm. You can actually eat a whole pizza if you're hungry. Unlike other places, you actually, you'll feel, okay, I mean, you'll be full, it's more than enough, but because it's so thin, I love this place. I love everything about this pizza. Oh, we've already got Oh, we got the, yeah, all great. covered, yeah. All right. I mean, you can't have too much Heinz ketchup, but. Yeah. Heinz is the only one. Also, I need to have a talk with the Sriracha people. Why'd you go with Red Gold? That's idiotic. I think this is one of the most least flattering things to watch a person eat is a burger. Especially one that's as juicy as I'm predicting this is gonna be. I like the size of it though. See, it's like a, this reminds me of like a backyard cookout burger. Nice char, great texture on the meat. They grind their meat themselves here for the burger, which is, ask anybody who knows, it makes a world of difference. So there you have it. So today, I branched out a little bit. We got the mozzarella sticks in the burger. Um, so that is important to branch out. I usually just order the same thing because I hate being disappointed. Not that I was worried about being disappointed by anything here, but this burger is delicious. However, if you really want, the first thing you gotta get is this pizza. I mean, look at this, you know? That is, mm. Mm. So yeah, shout out to Coles. Uh, if you're in the Portland area, or if not, get your ass here. I don't care if you're in Boston, it's worth driving here, eating this food, it's delicious. Um, if you like what you see, and you like what we're doing, check out our Patreon, uh, like and subscribe on YouTube, uh, and feel free to follow me at Food Coma Maine on Instagram. I'm Joe Riccio, this is Food Coma on the Road.